What's up, guys? We're back. Welcome to uh, Dumb Money with uh, Giovanni. This is the name of the talk show. There is Giovanni. Giovanni, say hello to the crowd and uh, let them know what uh, what do you have for us today. Do you want me to say it? All right. No problem. I'll say it. Right. Dumb Money with Giovanni. Good uh, afternoon, everyone, and welcome to our newest uh, talk show. Uh, Giovanni is um, the passive trader. Okay, he's been with me for the last three years. He saw a lot of webinars, a lot of uh, broadcasts, uh, and a lot of seminars. And I'm I'm sure he knows more forex trading than many many other people, don't you, mate? All right. Now, let's get into um, into the slides, guys, and see what Giovanni has to say uh, today. What did you find in the last twenty four hours, uh, Giovanni? What is happening? on uh, on your side of the financial markets as a as a passive trader right we are starting starting with the first um, the first slide okay lovely lovely uh lovely picture on the first slide um okay we see a lovely fella saying so you're telling me to teach me forex but you blew up three accounts using 20 pips stop loss when the volatility is up right this is the first slide. Uh, yes, he has a point. And uh, Giovanni's uh, reaction is, uh, you tell them, little brother. He likes uh, the reaction of the, of the little guy. All right. Now, we're going to move on to, uh, to the second slide uh, in a minute. Guys, if um, you have any comments um, okay, or anything, let us know. Okay, let us know. Type your questions. Uh, interact with us. And... I'm gonna do uh, the best I can to uh, to help. All right, right. I see people love Giovanni. Hi, Jay. How are you, my man? How are you, buddy? Long time no see. Hope you're doing well. Of course, he has a point. There we go. This is Giovanni. Shall we move on to uh, to the second slide and see what Giovanni has to say? Let's move on to the second slide and see what uh, <laughs> what he found. Right. Again, a screenshot of uh, social media, guys. Okay, we have um, Bali, yeah, Forex trader, uh, flashing a big, big chunk of money yeah, and saying that um, she's on the way to uh, the Mall of uh, Africa now and she doesn't even know what to spend the money on. Okay, and Forex results 10,000 rands. Yeah, 10,000 rands is not, uh, it's not a lot. What does Giovanni has to say about it? If I flash my fur, it doesn't mean you will grow fur too. Show me your result after the non-farm payroll. Right, he has a point if you think about it. He has a point if you think about it, guys. Uh, this is what uh, what Giovanni has to say. Yes, so it doesn't necessarily mean that if you see someone flashing a big, big chunk of money uh, in your face and says that they made that money trading forex, that's going to happen every day, or you're going to make the same money. You're going to have the same results. So, well done, uh, Giovanni, on this one. Let's move on to the next slide, guys. As uh, this talk show is only ten minutes long, let's move on to the next one and see what he has to say. Right, the next one, very funny slide. The five hundred to one leverage. How can I possibly lose? Okay, we see a little guy um, asking, and Giovanni says, "Sooner than you think, my friend. Sooner than you think." Okay, again. It doesn't necessarily mean mean that if you have a lot of um, a lot of leverage, guys. Yeah, if you over leverage your product, you're actually gonna make uh, money, or you're not gonna lose money. Yeah, in fact, you might lose the money way way sooner than you think. Yeah, you have to keep the situation balanced. Um, I'm gonna get into uh, the topic of how much leverage is too much leverage um, in the next days when we're gonna have an educational webinar as well. Okay, and but till then, remember what uh, what's the message that uh, Giovanni is trying to send, guys? Okay, it doesn't uh, mean that if you have a huge, huge leverage, then you're not gonna lose your funds. Let's move on. Let's move on to the next slide. Well done, Giovanni, my man. Well done. Right, we have two types of uh, of holders when we're talking about uh, cryptocurrencies, guys, or hodlers, yeah, as um, as they're called, the ones that bought Bitcoin um, under one k and the ones that bought Bitcoin at twenty thousand. Okay, it's it's funny. Uh, buy the peak, buy the peak, uh, lol, uh, f o m o, which means the fear of missing out, guys. Yeah, no uh, misinterpretation. 
So yes, sometimes the fear of missing out um, is is causing us a lot of trouble, especially in times like this. Yeah, and I know many people that uh, invested in Bitcoin when Bitcoin was around the twenty thousand dollar mark, and now they are crying just like the guy we see in the right uh, side of the screen. So don't get too um, too exhausted, too uh, excited when something had a good good rally. In fact, expect a pullback. Yeah, after you see something going through the roof, expect a bit of a pullback. Why is that? Why is that, Giovanni? You don't get it. Yeah, you do. Okay. All right. Because, okay, people that bought when the price was down there will close their positions up there to cash the profits. And that will cause a meltdown of the market. Yeah, so don't have the fear of missing out. If you're not sure about something, if it doesn't make sense, don't do it. Focus on something else that makes a bit more sense. Right? Right. Right? Right. Okay. We all agree. We all agree. Let's move on. Let's move on to the next slide. Guys, uh, I don't even know how many slides I have left. Let's have a quick look. I think two more slides or three. Let's move on to another slide then um, see what happened on this one. Join Forex and be rich. As little as 100 rands, you get 10,000 rands. This is a big chance to make it real. Okay, now Giovanni got a bit pissed off and uh, he's uh, saying, you realize that 100 rands means $6, right? Yeah, and he is absolutely correct. 100 rands means exactly $6, guys, and, uh, and 10,000 rands uh, means about $600. Now, if anyone can tell us the logic, yeah, because it's two of us, of how on earth you're going to make $600 with only $6 in the financial markets, okay? I'll do whatever you want me to do. Yeah, show me someone that with $6 can actually trade and make $600 on the financial markets, guys. And I'll give you my, my salary. <laughs> Thank you for the comments, guys. I love your comments. I see you're, quite, you're commenting quite a lot. I love your comments, right? Giovanni, people love you. People comment more when you're in the studio than when I'm in the studio. How about that? I'm not furry, probably. That's why I got to grow a bit of fur. But anyway let uh let's move on let's move on to uh to the next slide right jay is saying let me tell you the logic and the answer is never with uh with capital letters well done jay well done we're on the same page so far let's move on let's move on and um and see what uh, giovanni found uh, in the next slide right again a south african uh south african trader most probably says my fnb card doesn't allow me to transfer to my broker what should i do i love the comment uh, look down there guys you can see check your online payment settings uh, possibly they might be off or your limit is too low right guys if you need someone yeah someone you never met before to tell you to to check your balance yeah on your uh, on your card on your credit card it's bad man it's really really bad and I love Giovanni's reaction uh, that's saying, and that's how stubborn people get broke. Yep, that is his reaction. Right, makes a lot of sense. Now, there must be a reason behind that. Yeah, to, uh, to be honest, uh, one, either you don't have money on, uh, on, your, on your car, then that's why the transaction is bouncing. Or FNB, your bank actually blocked the transaction yeah, on some let's say fraudulent suspicion yeah it's nothing has been concluded yet but whenever you have a fraudulent or suspicion okay then the banks are uh, are blocking your transaction now there are two ways around it one be stubborn and uh, you're gonna see the outcome or two look into it and try and understand uh, if it worked previously why it worked previously and uh, if it doesn't work now why doesn't it work now okay very very easy thing to do but again be aware of the the balance on your uh, on your card. Okay, let's move on. Let's move on to the last uh, slide of the day, guys. Uh, <laughs> right, I saw. I actually saw. No, we have one more slide uh, apart from this one. I actually saw this um, something like this posted on social media. They're both trades forex on a Saturday. Okay, and uh, Giovanni's reaction is, uh, haha, well done, kids, spot on. Yes, guys, on a Saturday, I actually saw brokerages advertising that 
You can trade with them on a Saturday. Now, how on earth is that possible? Can, does anyone know? Let me know. Uh, type your comments. Maybe you're trading with a broker on a, on a Saturday or on a Sunday, okay? And you're making money and the rest of us are missing out, okay? Including the New York Stock Exchange, including the European stock markets, including the Asian stock markets. Maybe we're all missing out because your favorite Forex broker helps you uh, trade on a Saturday and a Sunday. God knows on what, God knows on what volatility, but do let us know if uh, if you have any information like this. Okay, and now we're moving on to um, to the last uh, slide, guys, which uh, is one of the best ones today. Finally, someone uh, is getting pissed off. Tell me how to make 19,000 pounds in four minutes. I dare you. I double dare you. And <laughs> Giovanni's reaction is, oh, oh, someone is in uh, trouble. Okay, so... I do dare everyone out there that uh, claims that can be uh, done in a few minutes with an investment of $50, $100, $200, $1,000, okay? We both dare anyone out there to uh, show us how you can make 19,000 pounds in four minutes with an investment of only 100, 200, or even 1,000 pounds, right? This was it from uh, from our side today, guys. I hope you are learning something from um, from our show, uh, Dumb Money, Trading Traps Revealed with Giovanni. I hope something remains uh, there. And whenever you're, uh, you're playing on your phone or on your desktop computer and you see ads like this, you know what you have to do. This was it from our side, guys. Uh, we're coming back uh, live tomorrow, same time, same place. Until then, remember to trade responsibly and may all your trades be in the money.